Now this is where most of the questions come from in the photoelectric effect. They want to talk about the intensity and the frequency of the light. Intensity of light is brightness of light. Frequency of light has got to do with the color or whether it's infrared or ultraviolet or gamma radiation or something like that. Okay, so if we look at this graph here, mm -hmm, if we look at these waveforms, it's not a graph, but it can be on a graph. Okay, if we look at the first two, can you see this nice little wave like this? This is a low frequency wave because I do not have a lot of peaks and you can see peak to peak is a big distance. The second little red wave is a high frequency wave because I have got a lot of peaks per unit time. Okay, there's a lot of peaks per second and the distance between the peaks is very small. So this is a low frequency wave. This is a high frequency wave. Okay, the intensity of the light is related to the amplitude of the wave. So this wave and this other blue wave have exactly the same frequency. There's exactly the same number of peaks per second. Okay, and this red wave is the same as this red wave. They have the same number of peaks per second. So if you have the same number of peaks per second, you are the same frequency. But if you have a large amplitude, you have a high intensity. So like for instance, if this were sound, this would be like, oh, and this would be, ee. but if this were sound, this would be, oh, low frequency, but loud. And if this were sound, it would be, ee, but really loud. Okay. So the intensity of, of the wave, if it's sound, it's how loud it is. If it's light, it's how bright it is. So this would be like a, a blue way, a blue light, but dim. And this would be like a blue light, but bright. You would have to close your eyes. So you must first understand which is intensity and which is frequency. So the frequency is what we use in the calculations for the energy of the light. Okay. So if the light has a greater intensity, which means it's brighter, but the color is the same. Mm -hmm. You will emit more photoelectrons. So in the question, you would see something like this. The blue light increases its strength or its brightness or its power. All of these are a measure of, of the brightness or the intensity of the light, like from 60 watts to 100 watts. Then there's more little packets of energy. Okay, the packets of energy are like the same size but there are a lot of them. So a bright light has got a lot of photons of light in it. Provided the light is above the threshold frequency, if the energy is greater than the work function, then you will pop off more photoelectrons per second, the rate, which is the number of photoelectrons emitted per second. So a bright light pops lots of photoelectrons off every second, but they will be the same speed, okay? They will not be any faster because the photon is the same size. There are just lots of them. And every photon corresponds to one electron. One photon makes one photoelectron. They are not speedy but there are a lot of them. So if you're a little electron counter, you will see a lot of electrons going past you, but slowly, okay? So this is important because they often put ammeters or voltmeters or something in the circuit. And so the definition of current, it's the rate of flow of charge. The charge is Q, which is the charge on an electron. We know electrons are little negatively charged things. And how many of them are flowing part past per second, okay? Current is the rate of flow of charge. So if you pop a lot of electrons off and they go past you, the ammeter is like an electron counter. So if more photoelectrons emitted every second by the high intensity light, the current is going to increase. Okay, but if you change the frequency of the light, you are changing the energy of the light. And I refer to it as the color. It's not the important part, but it helps you think about it because you know 
this rainbow spectrum here, okay, which links to the radio, the microwave, the infrared, the UV, the X-ray, and the gamma. All of them are linked by their frequency, okay? So if you can remember your spectrum and remember which side is which, on the red side is the lower energy, on the purple ultraviolet side is the higher energy. Okay, so if the frequency of the light changes, for example, from visible light to ultraviolet light, that's this little boundary over here on the graph. If you put in more energy, then the photons have got a bigger energy packet. Okay, and if the energy incoming is bigger than the threshold frequency, then the little electrons will pop off with a lot more kinetic energy. You are not going to pop more electrons off per second, okay, the rate of emitting electrons is the same, but they will be speedy, they will be very fast. It's like counting five Formula One cars in a second versus counting five bicycles in a second, okay. So five electrons will pass you, but if the energy is very high, because of the very high frequency, it will be like a Formula One photoelectron, not a bicycle photoelectron, but there'll still be five of them. So here is the short story which helps you answer your questions. A high intensity means there are a lot of photoelectrons, which means that you get a bigger photo current, okay? If there is a higher frequency, red light, green light, blue light, you will pop off with the blue light here, faster, 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 very fast electrons. If your light has not got enough energy, ain't nothing happening. No photoelectrons are going to be emitted. If you look at the other ends of the spectrum while we're looking at this frequency issue, usually it is the UV ones that cause the photoelectric effect, UV and higher. If you look on the other side of the spectrum, the microwaves, they make molecules rotate, okay? Infrared can make molecules vibrate, and it's got something to do with the bond length and the bond angles of the molecules and the length of the bond versus the wavelength of the radiation. So microwaves make molecules rotate. Infrared makes molecules vibrate. Light visible light that we can see can cause electrons to move to higher energy levels but uv and x-rays will definitely release electrons from metals and that makes the metal into an iron or it causes ionization because remember if you lose an electron you will become an ion so the low energy causes rotation which then moves to vibration which then causes more energy excitation of electrons and finally electrons will be released in the photoelectric effect.